Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Timing Tarot. This is Tanya. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Good afternoon, good evening. Divine Timing Family. I love you guys, I thank you. I truly appreciate you guys. Welcome, if I got new subscribers. We are here doing a general reading for Scorpio. This is for the last week of January, 2023. Whew, that burnt. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio, you got a divine union coming in here. Um, you're going to be getting communication here. Somebody here is about to shoot their final shot with you. You got an old person and a new person, of course, right? Um, there's new beginnings here for you, Scorpio. There's a new love here. If you guys are already in a connection, um, you guys are about to get closer. Somebody here is definitely about to totally devote themselves to you commit somebody here is about to commit to you if you're already in a relationship and the new relationship that you guys got coming in there is definitely is going to lead to commitment because you have on the top you have you have um <coughs> excuse me door to romance <coughs> and this is a new love coming in and you also have um, door to spirit as your overall energies. This is you, your spirituality, your intuition is, is, is being heightened. Um, a lot of you guys are coming closer to whoever you pray to. And this also represents a new beginning. This also rep represents a new beginning too. You got two cards here with new beginnings. Yeah, and you got people coming in. Possibly your soul tribe with community. This could be somebody inviting you to a celebration. And if someone invites you, go. Go, Scorpio, go, okay? Um, this is people wanting to come together with you, collaborate with you. And this is also universe sending people, sending people your way. Okay, Scorpio? So... Let's get some more from the um, Black Hollywood Romance. What do you have for Scorpio, God, Angels, Ancestors, Holy Spirit? You guys, I've already shuffled, saved, and prayed over the cards. I'm just shuffling so you guys can see that I am shuffling. What do you have for Scorpio? Some more overall energies for Scorpio. Okay, you got watch out. This is a warning message. Be aware of gossip, envy, and jealousy. Someone or something is trying to stand in the way of this connection. So y'all got a hater on your hands, okay? This could be an ex. This could be your friend. This could be relatives. But somebody's trying to stand in the way of a, possibly a connection that you already got going. Or, you know, somebody's just trying to block something here for you. So just be aware, Scorpio. There's some exciting news coming in. Good news is coming your way, whether it be a pregnancy, an engagement, or moving in together. Get excited to celebrate. So there is some good news coming for you, Scorpio. But you always got hate of Scorpio. You know, that's just all the time. You have playfulness. Playtime is essential for relationships. Have a little fun recapturing romance with your partner. So don't be so serious all the time, Scorpio. You know, play a little bit. One more for Scorpio. Okay, yep. Yeah. See, didn't I tell y'all earlier? Somebody is wanting a dedicated partner whose love is unconditional and eternal. Somebody is really wanting to commit to you. You got devotion and life partner. 
This person is someone that you can enjoy life with wholeheartedly. You two can get through anything together. Well, I already told you, universe is sending you a divine union, a divine partner. Whoever you guys are dealing with right now, you have a lot of fun with this person. This person has a lot of fun with you. This person enjoys the attention that you give them. Okay? The laugh and share between two soulmates are the spirit, warms the spirit in the way no coat could ever. So y'all, you definitely getting a very spiritual connection that's coming in towards you. Yeah, you're ready for love, Scorpio. You are ready for love, okay? You've been understandably guarded, scared of being hurt again, but you took the time to heal. Now you are ready to try love again. And some of you guys are already in a loving relationship, okay? You guys are already in a loving relationship. And if it's been slow moving, it's about to pick up because universe is stepping in. Universe is just stepping in, okay? So, no worries on that tip. Okay, so let's see what Tarot has for Scorpio. What is going on with Scorpio the last week? Or well, whenever you guys see the video, that's when you're supposed to see it. The last week of January, 2023. What do you have for Scorpio, God Angels, Ancestors, Holy Spirit? What do you have for Scorpio? What do you have for Scorpio, God Angels, Ancestors, Holy Spirit? Okay, we have one that flipped over. The Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. So there's, you guys got somebody around you that's very manipulative, that likes to play mind games. And I'm figuring, I'm, I'm hearing this is somebody from your past, Scorpio. Yeah, change your life. This, this is the tower. Five of Pentacles, somebody is feeling abandoned. This is somebody from your past that just cannot let you go. Wow, what else you got for Scorpio? What else you got for Scorpio? Yeah, the fool. Believe in yourself, listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. You guys are taking a risk on something new. And whoever this person is that's in this energy is not liking that. Somebody is not wanting to let you go, okay? But you're taking a risk here. You t Some of you guys have already started something new already. Yep, the world. You're ending something here. You've ended something successfully. This is a very happy ending. Come in the full circle. You guys are definitely spiritually growing. Your intuition is very, very high at this time. You guys are high vibing. But you got somebody around you that is just low vibrational. Low vibrational, Scorpio. Ace of Swords, and that's the truth. That's the truth. It's time to continue on. This is a this is the Ace of Swords. This is universe giving you clarity. This is a breakthrough. This is wonderful new ideas. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Keep moving on. Give me one more for Scorpio, and then we'll clarify. The Eight of Pentacles. This is take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. So some of you guys are working on something. You're mastering something, okay? This is you working hard. But what I see from here, somebody's willing to come in and speak some truth to you. But they could be kind of conflicted. Somebody wants to work on something. Somebody wants a new beginning here with you. I see you, yeah, the Ten of Wands, somebody here. Leo Sagittarius could be very burdened. Yeah, very burdened because someone here wants a second chance with you. Yeah, but this person is very confused. I mean, you don't know what you want, then you don't know what you want. But mm -mm. let's clarify. Let's see who this Five of Swords is. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Heavy air here. Towards Virgo Capricorn. 
why is the five of swords here for Scorpio? Okay, the two of pentacles just fell out. So somebody here could have been juggling, playing mind games with you. That's why you walked away from something or someone. Why is the five of swords with the two of pentacles, God angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit? Why is the two of pentacles with the five of swords? The four of wands. This could be somebody that you was in a family situation with. But the four of swords, this, this is celebration. This is commitment. This is engagement. This is you coming together. Why is the four of swords here? Why is the four of swords here? The empress. So you, you definitely could have been in a situation here, in a family situation. And you're starting something new. You know who you are. Could have been dealing with someone that was very manipulative, played a lot of mind games, which you did was juggling, possibly put you in a third party. Lovers is at the bottom of the deck. Could have been dealing with a Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But you know who you are. You're not. You're the Empress. You're showing up as the Empress, Scorpio. You're moving towards something very stable. Yeah, look at this. Seven of Swords. A liar, a cheater. Somebody that did things behind your back. And you knew it. You already knew it. You're the High Priestess. You're the Empress. Very intuitive. And like I told y'all, y'all your in intuition is on high. You knew what was going on in this situation. That's why you moved on. That's why you moved on. Why is the fool here? You are taking, you believing in yourself and you listening to your heart and you listening to your intuition. Why is the fool here? Why is the fool here? Why is the fool here? Why is the fool here for Scorpio, God angels? The Seven of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be investing in the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. You're taking a risk here. But you're kind of like, uh, is this going to pay off? Some of you guys are like, is this going to pay off? Something is going to be successful here with the Six of Wands. I see you, you're getting recognition. You're getting a lot of attention. Or this is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that wants to invest in you and wants to take a risk with you. Someone here knows your worth. Someone here wants to, you know, devote themselves to you. Someone sees you as a life partner. Someone sees you as a soulmate. <laughs> Someone sees you as their <clears throat> spiritual connection too. Mm -hmm. Why is the Seven of Pentacles there? <clears throat> we have the two of swords somebody's not seeing things for what they really are someone here is very indecisive Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn someone is, 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 is like should I invest this could be you Scorpio or the person that you're dealing with someone is is trying to see if they should invest here. Someone here possibly could have two choices. Someone probably has to choose between two people. Mm. Wow. Or someone did. I don't know. Someone had to make a decision. <coughs> Excuse me. Nine of swords. Somebody is not sleeping well here. Someone is having trouble eating. They're stressing about something, about a decision, about investing here. Wow. Heavy air energy. <clears throat> Someone here is very is overthinking something. 
Why is the world here for Scorpio? Why is the world here for Scorpio? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Why is the world here? Eight of Swords. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo -wee. Somebody is so in their head about you, Scorpio. Or this could be you. You could be in your head about somebody. About investing in somebody. Should you or shouldn't you? But somebody is not seeing things for what they really are. Just open up your eyes, Scorpio. If this is you being indecisive about a person, you already know what it is. You, you, you need to use your intuition. You need to use your intuition here. Somebody here could be sneaky shady or doing something behind your back. That's for some of you, not everybody. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Somebody about to get left out. Or this is somebody that you already ended something with. And they in their head now. Because they were so indecisive, so you moved on. Somebody here was shady. But, yeah, somebody is, is feeling definitely left out and abandoned. You made a judgment here on somebody. Or you're going to make a judgment on something new and end something. Here's your energy here with the death card. You're going to make a judgment on something here, Scorpio. Why is the Five of Pentacles here with the Eight of Swords? Why is the Five of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. This is something that you've been fighting for. For quite some time that's ending and now this person is feeling left out in the book left out abandoned they're in their head they're overthinking they ain't eating right they ain't sleeping right you got somebody really in their head about you and with the ace of swords that's the truth the truth the truth somebody here st possibly still want to fight for something scorpio because they're in love with you somebody here is in love with you but you got new love coming in new love Yep, you got new love coming in. Ooh. And secretly, somebody is in love with you that's taking their time. Mm-hmm. Somebody taking their sweet time with you. But they in love with you, but they better hurry up before they miss an opportunity here. Somebody better hurry up and, and quit pussyfooting around. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here for Scorpio? The Nine of Cups. Wish Fulfillment. <clears throat> someone has gotten clarity and has possibly been awakened that you are their wish fulfillment could it be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius that was very confused this person possibly left their options open and guess what you guys got options we got the king of pentacles and the king of swords here Ooh, and the king of cups you guys are definitely going to have options you got three kings here. You got somebody in your past going to come back for sure. Yep. Could be any sign, y'all. But y'all have options. Seven of Cups, King of Swords, King of Pentacles, King of Cups. Wow. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Somebody is getting over heartbreak. Three of Swords in the reverse. Somebody is not feeling the way they used to feel anymore. Why is the Three of Swords in the reverse? Somebody also could have walked away from a third party, too, is what I'm getting. Ugh, that's too many cards, you know. Guys, that's too many cards. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is you giving me so many cards? Three of Swords, just one. Okay. Truth is, there's somebody wanting to come in and make you an offer. Now, y'all did see the three kings here. We got an empress here, which could be an emperor. But somebody here is wanting to offer you something. Definitely want to express their love. But... The Knight of Cups, to me, is kind of fickle. This could be somebody, definitely, that's very immature in the way... Immature with their love language is what I'm hearing. 
could be Taurus Virgo, no, yeah, Taurus Virgo Capricorn or Pisces Cancer Scorpio, but somebody's coming in here to offer, to make an offer to you. They want to give you a gift. There's good news of money here, a gift. The Knight of Cups can definitely represent engagement. Somebody here that is no longer heartbroken. They've been awakened that you are their soulmate. You are their empress, emperor. Yeah. And they want to work on this with the Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on this situation. Somebody, if you're going through something with a new person or, you know, if y'all kind of like having little disagreements, it's going to work itself out, okay? Be patient. I'm hearing be patient. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Scorpio? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Scorpio? Oh, okay. I'm going to let that fall over because... The Ten of Pentacles wanted to come out. <sighs> so is Virgo Capricorn. Someone here definitely wants to work on building something with you. This could also be a family situation. If somebody want to work something out in a family situation. And the other card that, oh, this is somebody that, that regrets the way they treated you. This could be somebody you got a family with, somebody you got kids with. I don't know. Somebody you was building something with. But, yeah, somebody regrets the way they feel with the way they treated you. Somebody here is thinking about the past. Heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. All is not lost here, though. Why is the Five of Cups here with the Ten of Pentacles? Why is the Five of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles? Five of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. Five of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, these cards are so slippery. Ooh. Yeah, the tower. I think you brought the tower in on a situation, Scorpio. That wasn't working for you. But you're moving towards something new with the Ace of Wands here. Yeah, something is over. Ten of Swords. You're moving towards a new beginning. We got a King of Wands in the reverse here. This could have been somebody that was... Uh, wow. Their emotions to me was all over the place. You lost passion for something here. For somebody that was very manipulative, that played a whole lot of games for you. This person is still holding on to you, Scorpio. Because they're in love with you. Mm -hmm. Somebody here wants their family back. And they're spying. Hmm. They're gathering up information. Because you're very protected. You know, you have boundaries here with somebody. You ain't taking no more shit off of nobody. Especially people in your past. You're just not doing all of that. That's just not happening no more. Um, Give me an outcome here for Scorpio. What's the outcome for Scorpio? The outcome for Scorpio. What is the outcome for Scorpio, God Angels, Ancestors, Holy Spirit? What's the outcome here? What's the outcome here? Scorpio, you got the Ten of Swords. Something is over. That's the second Ten of Swords. The situation has ended. And you are finally free. There's new opportunities for happiness. Will now follow. Put the past behind you. And you have... <laughs> the Two of Swords. And look. You got the Two of Swords here twice. It will all be better if you just make a decision. Overanalyzing a problem. Find a compromise. Just make that decision, Scorpio. What's the advice? What is the advice for Scorpio? There's a better way. This is the hangman. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. You know, get a different perspective on things. Because you 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 you're being enlightened about a situation, okay? 
call on Archangel Shamu to help you make a decision that you need to make, Scorpio, okay? Because things are definitely going to start taking off for you quickly, very, very quickly. Very, very, very quickly. Okay, Scorpio? This is what I got for you. If you resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.